back again. Uh, I could probably go on for this forever, so I'm just gonna keep going on and on. Uh, look forward to some of my future videos where I have other people in uh, discussing the same shit with me. Uh, also, feel free to post uh, video responses. I would really like video responses to these videos to with because I know there I'm not the only one that's fucking pissed off at Hollywood and how they do shit like that fucking loser Uwe Boll why does he keep getting to direct movies I don't give a shit if uh he gets fucking tax incentives from the German government don't let this fucker direct videos movies about your shit he's the worst have some fucking artistic integrity and whatnot and Protect the rights to your goddamn IP. Marvel's starting to do it. Although, you know, fucking, they can't, they, I fucking gave shit to Fox. Like, it's going to be at least 30 years before we see a decent Spider-Man or a decent X-Men movie. Because, you know what? The first X-Men movie, the first Spider-Man movie, those were mediocre at best. All right? Uh, Spider-Man 2, kind of awesome, just for the fact that, you know, Doc Ock, they got a guy that, he, they couldn't have got another guy to fit Doc Ock better than who they got, but even then, you know what, there was some bullshit in that movie too that didn't need to happen. Spider-Man 3, fuck Spider-Man 3, with a I, I can't even go into how m much that movie pissed me off. It's like the only movie I've ever walked out of in a theater. And I was noisy about how I walked out. I was fucking upset that I had paid money to see this fucking movie. Uh, but back on that loser Uwe Bolt. Why does he get to direct movie? Is it so cheap to afford the rights to movies? If it is, if it if it only costs like fucking 300 bucks to buy the rights to a video game movie, I'm going to go out and I'm going to start buying up every right to every video game movie I can get my hands on to fucking protect this shit from people. Like, it's unbelievable. He fucking... Look at this, some of the shit that he directed. Hold on. Back. Uwe Boll. Fucking Far Cry he directed. He directed the Blood Rain movies. Those were fucking ass. Uh, Alone in the Dark 1 and 2. Possibly the worst movies ever made. Uh, House of the Dead. Has anyone seen that? It, as far as I know, it was straight to DVD. I fucking rented it and I wanted my money back. It was fucking ass. Uh... Fuck, what else did he direct? I know he directed Dead or Alive. Postal. Uh, like, the Far Cry movie could have played out like Predator. It would have been awesome. Uh, but no. Uh, Blood Rain? Uh, still better than Twilight, I'll say that. Uh, But this guy, he just directs shit. I don't want him touching this fucking shit anymore. Uh, and there have been other worse adaptations. Uh, the best video game movie I can think of, off the top of my head, is Crank. Crank 1 and 2. Those were movies that acknowledged that they were structured like video games. It's not based on any particular video game, but it's like a video game movie. The guy goes from uh, situation to situation. Uh, there's some platforming. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a boss fight uh, at the end of it. And then the credits roll. He saves the girl or whatnot. Uh, those were awesome. Uh, oh, and yeah. And it, it basically the movies had a mechanic where he had to... Uh, what do you have to do? He had to keep his heart beating. Uh, in or or he die. That's that's the premise. That's like uh, you know, it's like the timer on fucking Mario. Another movie I wanted to talk about Hollywood ruin, but 
you know, and uh, I remember the movie I wanted to talk about was uh, Daybreakers. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Fucking vampires that can't see in the dark. Their only aspect of being vampires is they drink blood. Uh, their eyes are fucking yellow. And if they don't drink blood after a certain amount of time, uh, they go and look like a fucking drowned rat. And people are saying that this is like, it was like the best action movie when it came out. There's no action in that fucking movie. Okay, there's a, there's a, there's a bloody, bloody brawl right at the end where, uh, what was it? The guy, he cures himself of vampirism. And, oh, the cure for vampirism is uh, biting another vampire who was cured of vampirism. Which is cured by sunshine, fall, a brief burst of shun, sunshine, followed by uh, turning the sunshine off. Or So, like, what they do is they hide in a fucking uh, grain silo, expose the guy to sunlight, and then stop exposing him. And then he's magically cured of being a vampire. Not that being a vampire is all that shit hot. Uh, apparently, they don't have peripheral vision. Like... Appar like, look at what I can see here. Well, that's apparently as far as these fuckers can see. Uh, there's a point where the main protagonist walks up to a dark doorway, and there was a fucking feral vampire or some shit right in front of him. But he was hidden in shadow. Who has that bad of vision? And they're vampires. Can they not see in the fucking dark? <sighs> It's just better than Twilight. I'll say that because, you know what? Vampires don't twinkle, all right? Vampires do not twinkle in the sunshine. That, that's it. <sighs> Fuck you, Hollywood.